welcome back to World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade Classic Blind. Heading out from Sylvanar across the bridge here. We're going with the ram today, since we're going straight across the bridge to stuff right over there, and it is a lot faster. We're going for some Thunderlord Direwolves and Rema, who should be down in this cave, or this cave, one, one of these. Well, we'll figure it out. We have a small amount of time left on our buffs here, so we're probably going to end up needing to refresh those. That's okay. Thunderlord Direwolf. That's the one. We still can't charge in, because we don't have charge. We should have a counter. How many times I try to charge. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. Their threatening growl reduces our strength and agility by a bunch. That's not ideal. But we already have one of the tails here, so. It's working out. Over here in the quest stuff area. This thing here decided they wanted to attack us. That was a mistake. A blade wing blood letter. Concerning. Not really. And of course, since it's a get four things quest, it's not going to be a hundred percent. That'd be too easy. Let me check this quest here. South of Thunderlord Stronghold, the Jagged Ridge. East of town, across the bridge, at the southern edge. Need more rage. That could be the southern cave. We will see. Facing the wrong way. Clearly not helping. And there's another tail. Well, either way, we can go look in this cave. Nope, this is this is where this is demons. This is the cave that goes over to Death's door. So that's not gonna get us where we need to be. Let's fly. We have the technology. I bet even though these guys look like they can fly, they're probably actually ground-based and can't actually get up to me. We could test that theory. Hey, you. Yep. Being weird. Inconclusive. It seemed to be able to fly up, but then it set itself back down to use its poison attack. Pretty strange, overall. Also, I'm seeing some ore over here. So they're obviously going to go get that. Right here. Okay. I will bite you. Getting a little bit low on life here. Which obviously isn't ideal. 
try to... Finish this off. Mind the ore. And then we'll have a pod. They seem pretty quick when they're flying a little bit. Slightly dangerous. Nothing too bad. We can manage. <laughs> so we're definitely heading towards the south cave. I'm seeing another direwolf over here we can go get. Could be the fourth and final tail we need. Hasn't seemed like they've been particularly rare so far. But you never know. Things could immediately head south here. Thousand eight hundred thirty-one. That's what you get when you take an execute. And it's using all the buffs. It's pretty effective, it turns out. Strength reduced by. And there's the fourth tail. Perfect. Now I just need to head into the den. Take care of that. Most likely it's going to be full of these wolves. So. Might have been a little bit of a waste getting the tails here first. But we will see. Oh, they're there. Remember the den, mother. Just. Outside, huh? Alright. Although they don't summon anything. Although we have Whirlwind, so I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing. They've got Threaten and Growl, though. Of course. Yeah, there's more Thunderlord Direwolves in there. Can't be too surprised about that. Alright. Is it just a wolf cave? Or what are we talking? We're in the Blade's Edge Mountains. Hmm. I think that this might be a connecting cave to Zangermarsh. Yeah, this one right here. So it's a wolf cave that goes to Zangermarsh. Alright. So basic, just a straight cave here. It's also got spiders. Got wolves and spiders in the cave. Very good. Very good. Okay. So that is... The quests right over here done. We got other quests here about the Blade Spire Ogres. Blade Spire Ogres. And kill them. Alright. Let's set those to be tracked here. We need to get them drunk and kill them. Oh boy. Get some height here. And head over towards Blade Spire Hold. I think we also have a guy there that we can rescue. And then further north, we have the other quest on our list here. Up towards the Circle of Blood. I saw an ore. They just kind of go for it when you're flying. Since you don't need to worry about running into any enemies. Just kind of set a course and stop paying attention to anything. As long as we're in areas 
that don't have all of the flying guys that can attack you. That's pretty much fine. There's some kind of plant or something there. Could be a quest. <laughs> so specifically here, for the one where you need to get them drunk, we go over there and use this item to attract a nearby Bladespire Ogre. And then possibly we can also kill them once we've grabbed them. Which would be convenient. Head down this way. If this is all Bladespire area, that'll work. I think the captive was somewhere around here. Hasn't been too long since we were running around this area. There it is. Okay. So I think we'd probably be well served here. To get our buffs back going. We've got plenty of stuff, so we might as well. A bit more stamina, a bit more spirit. All good stuff to have. Okay. So this is Vindicator Voline hanging out in here. Well, not their choice, I'm very sure. Hey, don't open the cage, okay? Yours have got me right where I want them. Oh, uh-huh. The trappings of a Vindicator. I know it's strange, but I do want to stay in this cage. It gives me the perfect opportunity to do what I came here for, to gather information on the Bladespire. I can leave at any time, but I would like to have my sword and shield back. Two of their leaders have my trappings. Drogam has my sword, and Mugdorg has my shield. If you have need, obtain and use the brew from Bloodmont Outpost to the south to thin out their help and entice those too. But beware their sober guards who don't drink. Retrieve the sword and shield. Favor the road traveled by few. I'm not sure if I believe you and your whole, yeah, I totally want to be in here story. I did not drink the beer again, it looks like. Well, he has nine charges. Do I need to step back further? That's also possible. They got too excited when they saw me. I'm much more delicious than any Blood Maw Brute Bank keg, clearly. I guess it did work. Well, I will take it. They, they picked up the brew and set down their sword, possibly. That's unfortunate for them. We got a free healing potion out of the mix, though. So that's nice. Right, since we got another quest here, we can put that here. Dograb and Mugdorg. Well, presumably we will know them when we see them. There's Glumdor. I need Mugdorg and Drogam. <laughs> he did 
can't pick it up. That's unfortunate. So we're still getting hit with a hammer here. Not ideal. But this is working for both of the quests here, so that's nice. There's some fell weed. They also have some raptors hanging around, which is pretty fun. We should have five additional charges on this, even after we're done with the quest it's used for. There's Glumdor. You the right one? Your your names are very difficult. Now we need Mugdorg and Dragam. Glumdor. Not helping. There is Gordim. Also not the one we're looking for. There's a lot of ogres here. There's a lot of ogres here. Here's just some guy. Dealt with. There's their cook. Cook drunk? Yes. Not the first ogre cook we've dealt with, interestingly enough. Oh, is there an elite in there? Oh, no. Sober defender. Oh boy. So they're going to be impervious. There's Drogam. Okay, they have they have elite defenders. This quest does not say multiple people though. Hmm. They're also sober. It's also bad. We will start by taking care of these shamans here. Seems like a good idea. I'm gonna try to fire a lightning bolt at me. Don't appreciate that. my doubts they're going to be able to grab the main guy without getting their defenders which is pretty concerning honestly what with the whole of them saying they're elite here we'll give it a shot though might as well how's our exit looking pretty good Can use the brew to thin out the other guys. Yep. Sober guards don't drink. Amazing. Let's see if we can. Yes, we can drag. We can drag him out with it. Wow. We're gonna need more of these brews. It seems. Let's only have a few more charges left on this. This is gonna be the key. 
to grabbing boss guys out. There he goes. Vindicator, Voline's Blade. Blade appears to be kept razor sharp by the holy power contained within it. Very fancy. And a free venison. Also nice. So with that information, I am not going to use the rest of these charges for anything less useful. So we're going to go and hunt down the other one here while we work on this whole 30 kills business. It went knockback, huh? We got Dragam, so now we need Mugdorg. Amazing. This only has four charges left. And it's a unique quest item. I think the individual brews that we picked up for the previous quest would work and count as one use for this quest. So that'd be one way to do this, presumably. Anybody in here? Shamans, defenders, Mugdorg. Grab this guy. This is doable. This is very doable. They really don't seem like very good defenders. If they just let their boss run off to get a drink and be murdered. Well, that's not my problem. Masquerade Gruel's Lair, planting the banner, fire, Lock has two skulls, max treasure chest. No. I don't have any of those. Probably mostly because we've only grabbed a few quests here. And none that would be any kind of elite quests here. So. We're not quite to that stage yet. That gives us some information about what quests might be in this area. Massacre at Gruul's Lair. Planting the banner. You're fired. Grilock has two skulls. Max treasure chest. Okay. Interesting. Also, I'm seeing an ore out here. <laughs> what do we get here? Some wrist armor with stamina and spirit. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to mine. Why can't be like that? Rude. Goodbye. So compared to what we have right now, slightly more armor, a bit more stamina, but no strength or agility, so. Less in the DPS department. There's a fire moat. Okay. Avoid the raptor here. Don't need that right now.
let's lure out our next victim here. No, nope, not close enough. I am trying to stay a decent way away from these elites here. That's okay. Just need to wait 30 seconds. What kind of guy are you? He's got a magical charge, a hammer, and a shield. Okay. <laughs> he picked it up. I was gonna do a healing wave. Oh no. Whatever will we do? And there's the shield. This has been very handy so far. Very handy indeed. So we just need to wander around here. Check out some more of these guys. And we'll have that quest done too. That knocked back them. Okay. We could go up there and fight them. That'd be a fun spot. Get a nice overview of the area. Except we can fly, so that's not a huge deal. Still a good location, though. None of these ogres seem to be the type to retreat. So that's also convenient for me. Throw out all our stuff. Plenty of range. Blood frenzy. Physical damage increased by 4%. That one's slightly more random because of the requirements it takes to activate. But still good. Still good. Goodbye there. <laughs> he just knocked that guy over. There is some kind of crazy beam. Doing something over there. We could always just go do the group quests to see what they are. Get information for when we want to do them. Oh, hi. Hello, a raptor right outside the building. Looks like they have some kind of dragon corpse or something there. I'm trying to do something with. There's a lot of dead dragons around this area. So that would make some sense.
and another one down. We can let them out of here. The Naru have not forgotten us. Well, there's not a guard right next to it. Warrior, do you have my sword and shield? Well, I could leave at any time. It'd be embarrassing for me to return to Sylvanar without my trappings. Yep, here you go. The shield does not appear to have a scratch on it, as if its surface was somehow magically maintained. Got some magic weapons and stuff. Very cool. And now, I owe you a great debt. For you have helped me to restore my honor. But our work here is not yet over. Gordim, your time has come. The leader of Bladesfire Hold is known as Gordim. Trust me, the name is appropriate. Still, I wouldn't underestimate him. He's crafty enough to have elevated his clan to be the favorite of Gruul the Dragon Killer, and they now dominate these mountains. And Gordim keeps an entourage about him at all times, including defenders who are sworn not to drink the Blood Maw Brew. Or say to you, Sylvanar, asking that you go back in there and deal with him. Minerhir Boleyn says to kill Gordim, leader of the Bladespire Hold Ogres. Yeah, I can do that. I need to kill some more Bladespire Ogres anyway, so. That accomplishes what I'm trying to do. Let's get that on the list. Gordium. That's Glumdor. It's not your time, Glumdor. It's Gordium's time. Wherever he may be. This Gordium? This is Gordium. Okay. So, same strategy here. Lure out the other ones. And then lure out Gordim with the brew. I'm not particularly worried about Gordim in particular or anything. So I don't really need to save Death Wish to do more damage or anything. It's not really how this works. We will be just fine. I'm sure. I need a target. He's all 67. Not a huge deal. Gordim. They went through all the trouble to have their defenders. <laughs> be sober but they're still completely vulnerable to the strategy which is pretty funny I'm gonna send him a hamstring just in case I know we are fine we also got a decaying leather belt oh boy And now we just need to get rid of five more ogres. This should basically be done here. We've been doing a pretty good job avoiding all the raptors. So that's nice. Made this whole situation a bit easier for ourselves. Bladespire Champion. I think I charge and knock that kind of thing. Cool. And he's got Thunderclap. Very impressive. Not that impressive. Better than a lot of the other ones we're doing. That's not exactly a huge accomplishment here. I'm gonna go down there without taking fall damage. And so I will. We 
very easily. These guys don't even have a weapon. I guess that's fine. We're gonna catch him in his sleep. There's, a, there's two in here. Not our best strategy. He hasn't even been weakened. Oh, that took care of it. But also, ouch, my everything. Alright. Blade Spire. This is I was mostly taken care of. There was at least one more named ogre in here, though, that we didn't mess with. That could be for a later quest. Possibly. We might find out while we are turning in all the other quests we've completed. We got five to turn in here. Very nice. Pretty much just everything that was here. We fly. Hey. Good fortune. Gordian? Taken care of. Very well. Very well. You're a very resourceful warrior, that's for certain. I wonder then if there's one more thing that you can do for myself and Silvanar. Planting the banner. Okay. That's one that they were talking about earlier. I want you to steal the Blazefire banner from one of their champions. Take it south to Blood Maw Outpost. Plant it atop their North Maw Tower. This will infuriate the Blood Maw. They will attack you relentlessly. But also keep their hatred focused on the Bladesfire Hold and away from Sylvanar. You will know you have accomplished the deed when you have defeated Gurn Grubnosh and taken his helm. Return it to Sylvanar. This isn't going to be easy. Take a friend or two with you. Suggested so Blayers 3. Okay. A Bladesfire Banner. Well, we're going to have to find another champion then. We can get that on the way back, probably. Or, when we come back this way. All the rest of these should be back in Sylvanar. Return to Sylvanar. Return to Sylvanar. Return to Sylvanar. At Sylvanar. Yep. So this is our first group quest here in Blade's Edge Mountains. Could be interesting. Back in Sylvanar. Still surprised this doesn't seem to count as it inside, but. I'm not complaining about it. What's the word? Are the Bladesfire Ogres as indiscriminate as the Blood Maw? Or did it nearly kill them like it did me? That's what I thought. I guess Ogres will drink anything. Stupid the lot of them. Well, I must say, even though I didn't get my brew, you've me a great start to my vacation. Tell you what, we have all sorts of stuff here we don't really need. I offer you something. Possibly. Very good. How are you? The representative of the Explorers League. I are here at Alliance Behests and Mountains. Are you gonna give me something? You look a nice spot. With you. Not really offered anything, but okay. What's on your mind? Off with you. I grab some boxes. Nope. 
Oh, all right then. Whatever. Hey. How may I help? The Bladesfire Ogres. Your actions against both the Blood Mall and the Bladesfire Ogre clans have gone a long way to securing Sylvanar's future. While we do not seek to expand past this patch of land, which we initially found empty, we will also not suffer those that would destroy us. So you've done us good service. I would reward your, I would reward that service with the appreciation of the alliance. We have some stuff here. We got a belt with stamina, spirit, spell crit, and magic. Some wrists with agility, stamina, and hit rating. A bit more agility, but no strength. It's got hit rating though, so eh. Also less stamina, less armor. Probably not ideal. You're gonna walk away from me, aren't you? Where are you going? We got some pauldrons, which have significantly less armor. Critical Strike Rating, Mana Restore, and Attack Power. The two attack power is very similar to the strength there. But with our additional plus strength, our current head, ours currently has more strength than that attack power. The mana is, of course, useless. The Critical Strike is pretty good. We currently have what looks like seven critical strike in this. So twice the critical strike, similar strength equivalent, less armor, no stamina. Yeah, it's green versus blue here, so the so ours are still better. And some hand armor here, plate instead of leather, so way more armor. 15 strength is comparable, a little bit less than the attack power. It's got hit rating. Critical strike is near the agility. No stamina though. But it's got more armor, so. Eh. Not too excited about any of these. Could have just grab this for the hit rating pile. Cause it's it's still pretty decent. It's not like we're losing out by too much here. I should keep track of what we have in that pile in the bank. Either way, let's take this. It's fine. The dead mother. Unbelievable. Did you slay Remo all by yourself? By the looks of you, I'd say that you could. You know, we're looking for a young, strong warrior such as yourself to help out around here, especially with the problems we continually have with the ogres. Make sure you follow up with me on that possibility. Yeah, I've already done that, basically. Well, you've definitely earned the bounty that I put on that wanted poster. Take your pick. We've got a one-handed axe with strength and stamina and damage, and a heavy elven dirk with agility and attack power. And a wand we can't use. Again, Either of these could be in our one hand or dual wield bank pile. Similar damage per second. This has more strength, but this has more agility. Eh. Let's take the 
axe, why not? Goodbye. Not a huge deal either way. And then down here. What brings you here? The wolves. I cannot stress strongly enough. Need for the Thunder Lord direwolves to be dealt with. Their very existence endangers the stability of the Living Grove and all of our work here. Yep. Good. I'll see if I can fashion something useful from these tales. You didn't have a plan before you sent me to get tales in particular? Sure. No doubt that the Horde will find a way to replenish the numbers of their wolf pack. But for now, we can breathe a little easier. Erickson, if you're willing, there's something else that I could, would ask of you in defense of Sylvanar and the Living Grove. Huh? Protecting our own. They've done a great deal of good work in defense of our new home here. I still feel that the Living Grove needs more protection. Please take this small tree bough that I have imbued with the force of nature. When used upon the seedlings that I have planted out in the grove, call down a storm to accelerate the growth of a treant defender. These treants are critical to the defense of the grove, especially if you choose not to make Sylvanar your home for long. Use Rain's Bow on five of the grove seedlings to summon forth defenses for the living grove. Turn to Rina, Moon Spring, Sylvanar, Blades Edge Mountains. Okay. Go in peace. Let's go find some of these things. Some of the forces of nature. These are probably the plants that we've seen previously. Out here. Like that one? Yep. Stay away from me. Got it. Now it's rapidly growing. A living grove defender. Can you help defend? There's currently a whole thing going on. I have accidentally attacked the defender. I'm incredibly incompetent. Sorry. Sorry about all of this. Did I hit him with the whirlwind? How's that, how's that even possible? Wow. Well. That happened. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, four out of five is still okay, right? Surely. It's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah. Level 66. These are going to be absolutely devoured by the lynxes. But in theory, there shouldn't be lynxes here anymore since we already took care of them. So we're going to ignore that. I'm sure it's fine. It's just a matter of MMO mechanics. There can't just be no more lynxes here once one person does the quest. Unless you want to make them be like a different instance or have them be invisible or something. But then you'd see people fighting invisible lynxes, so. It's, it's everything. It's everything out here. That's okay. Uh, that was very easy. And another quest. How fair is the bolstering of the Living Grove's defenses? About 80%. With the intentions of the Arakoa at Vale Lash unknown, and the horde just on the other side of the ravine, I fear that if we do not move quickly, we'll find ourselves in a poor situation to protect our new home and our work in the grove. Now you strengthen the grove's defenses, I feel much safer. You earned our thanks and appreciation, Eric Erickson. Of course, it just occurred to me that there's something else that we need to take care of. My goodness. There's some cloth gloves, 
Stamina, intellect, spirit, and magic. Some shoulder pads. With agility, stamina, and attack power. Significantly less attack power. Much less stamina. Good amount of agility, though. Eh. Male feet with agility, intellect, and attack power. More armor, similar agility, intellect is useless, less attack power compared to the strength, so nah. And some wrists with more armor, more strength, decent stamina, and critical strike by 11 compared to 13 agility. That's actually possibly pretty good. Let's take that one and we can compare it. A dire situation. With their wolf pack reduced, the horde is looking for replacements. Unfortunately, there is another source nearby. The Bloma ogres in the ravine below to the east keep a strong pack as their own sentries. I hate sending you to kill the Thunder Lord wolves, so why don't we do something different this time? I derived a magic powder from the dust that naturally falls off the wings of our fey drakes. Sprinkle it on the blood maw direwolves to make them undesirable to the horde. Let's take her diminution. It's gonna make them small. Diminution powder. Applied to five of the blood maw direwolves. Found at the blood maw outpost and blood maw ravine. And they come back. God of Let's see all our new stuff we got here. We got these wristbands. Plus seven strength for minus nine stamina and some difference with agility. We got a dash a second here. 181.7. 182.7. That's more straight damage. It looks like more straight crit chance, too. Really? Even though it's minus... Minus the 13 agility. But still more crit chance. Wow. So that means that 11 critical strike rating is better than 13 agility. Good to know. There's gonna be some ratio there, exactly how much better it is. But we know at least a crit strike rating is better than an agility. If we discount the extra armor, which we do. So that's more strength, more crit chance, slightly less armor, more block, if block does anything, less health. Overall, very much a new, better DPS item. I don't think we can see it because it's behind the gloves. Let's take off our gloves here for a second. We've been disconnected from the chat server. Oh well. And then reconnected. Sure. So they, they look identical, which is going to be difficult because I'm now not entirely sure which one we have on. Click, click it until it has the better number. This one. Yeah, the Sentinel Armbands and the Eagle Engraved Bracers. It's, it's the same. It's the same picture. We're keeping these for the pile. More power, more damage, more crit chance. Looks good to me. Here's the shrinking powder. Okay.
So we're not quite done with Sylvanar yet. We got some wolves to shrink and a banner to plant. Even though that banner is going to be slightly more difficult. Also, I guess we can see what these other ones look like, even if we're not going to be wearing them right now. We got green gloves and a fancy axe. Have fun. Let's sell off the rest of the stuff in the inventory here. Just to get it nice and cleaned. Don't need these. Don't need that. And the old wrists. I guess this one technically does have even more armor too, so. Even though it's less stamina. So, all good. E everything about this new armband's pretty great. Okay. Good luck. We have 400 gold. Pretty good. All right. I'm still not seeing the thing they were going to give me, but that's fine. Yeah, those those tiny those tiny protectors we just added are nothing compared to this level 70 elite here. So I'm sure Sylvanar is gonna be just fine. I guess we will start with a dire situation. Since that's still in this area. And then we'll see what else we can find. Next time. Goodbye.